the start of the 2021 Junior WRC. What are the hopes and targets this year? So our 2021 Junior WRC season kicked off with a training day and this was a chance to get to know the M Sport Poland team. We also had a tire talk from Pirelli and we also had social media training from Seb Scott and Julian Porter which was really really good. Our tire selection and ECU is randomly picked at each rally and you can see me picking my number now. So then Tuesday and Wednesday we had recce which was quite tough um, for me coming back from doing not so many rallies and then jumping into deep end at WRC on these very challenging roads. The characteristics of the roads were different for each stage so it was really difficult to make the pace notes consistent but I felt like we'd done a pretty good job but for sure it was stressful at the time and uh, I had to spend some late evenings just tidying up the notes afterwards with my uh, DVD work but um, very tricky conditions too. The, the surface was very slippery in areas. Tell us, uh, tell us your feelings towards getting another start in Junior WRC in English please. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I didn't know what to expect coming into Shakedown because I've never really driven the car before, but straight away, good feeling with the uh, with the setup and uh, the grip as well. So, yeah, amazing to be back. We can only get faster from here, so really, really good. Awesome. Have a good weekend. Cheers, yeah. And we welcome another driver who we've seen in the junior category before, but has also had success behind the wheel in esports as well. He's a multi-talented driver. It's John Armstrong and his co-driver, Bill Hall. idea of what those stages here in Croatia look like? They're a mixture of everything. They're crazy. Um, a bit of Panzerplatz, uh, a bit like Ireland in places, and Czech Republic too. So, yeah, really tricky recce. Um, so we'll see tomorrow how good our pace notes are. But I enjoyed so much to get back in the car today. I thought it was going to be proper slow because I've, uh, it was my first time driving the car on tarmac. And, uh, yeah, we were joint second quickest. So um, we just need to try and see how tomorrow goes and uh, stay out of trouble. I think that's the, the aim. Stiže nam i Slovačko-Češka posada. Start out this morning being super cautious on the first stage. There was so much uh, gravel and slippiness in that stage. And uh, yeah, we were sl slowest, but we've just been getting faster and faster throughout the day. Uh, me and Phil have just been working better and better throughout the stages. and. Uh, yeah, I've been getting more confidence with the car as well, doing some setup changes between the stages and uh, seems to be all going the right direction. So um, could definitely push more, but I'm just going to go with my rhythm now and uh, hopefully that rhythm will keep getting faster and faster. mistaken you are in third overall in the junior category <laughs> sorry <laughs> i was just looking at times there um today's been crazy you know we started out this morning we were slowest in juniors um and then picked up the pace from there and uh yeah climbed up the leaderboard yeah fantastic day me and phil have just been getting used to each other in the car because it's our first rally together so uh yeah we're just going to build upon from here Brilliant. thank you thank you in the lead of the rally after day two. What does that feel like? Crazy. I think I've got my mojo back now. Um, I just feel like my old self. I haven't felt like this in a long time, so it's really good to be back in this feeling. I think we just need to keep this up now, and uh, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a hard day, but uh, I'm enjoying my driving now, so that's good. How do you prepare for tomorrow? What happens this evening? Well, last night I was up to half three, what? doing my pace notes. Um, so probably not as late tonight 
But uh, yeah, adrenaline's a great thing. You don't need caffeine. Good. You look amazing, honey. When you think back to Sweden last year, how are you feeling after this one now? Because there were comments after Sweden and things like that. I don't know if there was any doubt in yourself, but I think you just knocked the ball out of the park. Yeah, I mean, part of me wanting to come back this year is to prove to myself I can still do it and also to prove to people that, you know, don't think I've got it anymore. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic to do it. It's been a really tough rally, but, uh, you know, I've only done two and a bit rallies in the last four years. So um, to, to come and win a Junior WRC event on on the first rally of the year without any testing and um, in, in the rally four car, it's amazing. So, uh, yeah, big, big thanks to everyone who got me here. I know it's been really, really tricky and a, a big battle to get here for, uh, budget and putting everything together but um, I have to say a big thanks to everyone that's that's made it happen. Okay. Uh, looking at the rally itself, have there been any stages where you've had to go max attack or have you really been playing a smart game and just picking them off where you could? I think I've been playing it quite safe the whole rally. I mean I would say I've never went to 100% because that's when you can go off the road and it's a really tricky rally. You know there's gravel everywhere, there's lots of cuts and uh, yeah, I think the stage that I won twice, uh, I felt very comfortable in them conditions. It was a little bit less dirty, um, so I was able to push a lot more. And uh, yeah, I think that showed my true pace. Um, I was struggling the rest of the rally against the... I was, some stages I wasn't far away. I think I was unlucky to win a couple of other ones. And uh, yeah, I think there's still a bit of work to do on, on my uh, pace when I need to turn it on. But I mean, I wasn't going to come here and... Uh, and throw it off the road. So guys, that's it. Amazing to win Rally Croatia. And I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. And I uh, think you guys played a part in, in me coming back and doing real rallying. But until the next time, uh, thanks for tuning in. And don't forget, keep it lit. Cheers.